Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from numerical integration. The name of a topic is double integrals using Simpson's one third rule. So the problem is using Simpson's one third rule, integrate integration zero to one, integration zero to one, one upon one plus x plus y dx dy with h equal to k equal to zero point five. Now let us consider. I will write it as here. I will be equal to integration zero to one. Integration zero to one, one upon one plus x plus y dx dy. Now, as here we have written first dx, that indicates here whatever first integrals will be, it will be of x. That is, if I compare it with our function, what is our function? Integration y zero to y n, integration x zero to x n. f of x comma y dx dy then from that we will we will be able to write it as here x zero will be equal to zero this is your zero x n will be equal to one similarly if you compare for y zero and y one y zero will be equal to zero and y n will be equal to one now we know what is h and the k so i will write it as The spacing between x x values x is it is denoted by h, which will be equal to zero point five. Similarly, the spacing between y values is denoted by k. It is also given to us, which is zero point five. Now, what we will do first, we will prepare a table. So please see it carefully. How to prepare a table? So I will do one thing. Let me draw a table here first. Let me take shifts. So if you see, there will be a first column. This will be a first column. Then there will be a second column. Let me prepare first table so that we can do it correctly. Then there will be a third column. so this is what is our table now we will draw horizontal line also so this will be your horizontal line let me draw it and again as we have both the values of x and y so let me draw it like this so now what i will do here we will write values of x here we will write values of y so first value is nothing but your x0 what is your x0 your x0 starts from 0 so let me write it as x0 will be equal to 0 next is x1 now how to find it out x1 it will be equal to x0 plus h because h is the spacing between x which is 0.5 so if you do it x0 is 0 h is 0.5 so you will get x1 as a 0.5 and x2 will be equal to x1 plus h x1 is 0.5 h is also 0.5 so you will get this as a 1 now we have to stop here up to this because last element integration element or upper limit is xn equal to 1 similarly what we will do we will draw it for y0 so what was the value of y0 which was given to us y0 equal to 0 Next will be equal to y1, which is equal to what? Y0 plus k. Here it is k because if you see spacing between y is denoted by k. So initial value is zero plus k is 0.5. So you will get this value as a 0.5. And next is nothing but let me extend this now. So if I extend this table, so here we will get. Y2, which is equal to what? Y1 plus k. So 0.5 plus k is also 0.5. So you will get it as a one. We have to stop here because if you see, the upper limit of y is one. 
Now please see carefully how to prepare this table. Let me write it here. What is your function? f of x comma y will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus x plus y. Okay. So now how to find it out this value? Here how to find it out? So let me write it as in short I will write 1 upon 1 plus. What is value of x here? x0. What is the value of y here? y0. So if you substitute x0 equal to 0, y0 equal to 0, you will get answer as a 1. So this will be your 1. Now for this what is the value? 1 upon 1 plus this will be x1, this will be y0. So if you substitute x1 equal to 0.5, y0 equal to 0, you will get answer as 0 0.6666. Here also how you will write 1 upon x2 plus, I forgot to write 1, let me write it here, 1 plus x2 plus y0. So here you will get answer as a 0 0.5. So likewise, if you substitute values of x and y in a given function, then you will get this answer as a 0 0.6666 because here in the function at at this particular value we have to put x equal to x0, y equal to y1. Similarly here we will get 0 0.5. How we will get? 1 upon 1 plus x1 plus y1. x1 is 0.5, y1 is 0.5 so you will get it as 0.5. Similarly if you do it for remaining one it will be 0.4. This will be your 0.5, this will be your 0.4, this will be 0 0.3333. I think you people understood how to do it. Refer this step, whatever first step here I have done for first row, you have to do it for second row, third row. Just x equal to x1 some cases, in some cases x equal to x0, in some cases x equal y equal to y1, y equal to y0 like that. Okay? So this is what is the table that we have prepared. Now let me take uh, let me write down first formula. So, as we are solving it by Simpson's one third. So, let me write it as with the help of with the help of Simpson's one third rule. What we will get? Before that, I will do one thing. I will write it here with a different color. I will write here the meaning of each and every term. If you see here, what is the value of x here? X zero. What is the value of y here? Y zero. So whatever answer is nothing but this is your f of x0 comma y0. What will be this? This will be your f of x equal to x1, y equal to y0. So it will be x1 comma y0. This will be f of x2 comma y0. Then this element will be f of x0 comma y1. This element will be f of x1 comma y1. This element will be f of x2 comma Similarly, if you see, this will be f of x0, comma y2. This will be, uh, if you see, f of x1, comma y2. Okay, and this will be f of x2, comma y2. Now, what I will do for a simplicity, all corner elements I will keep it in a box. So this will be one. This will be your 0.5. This will be your 0.5. This will be your 0 0.333. All the middle terms I will represent it by arrow. So that it will be easy for me to remember the formula. Okay. And exactly middle whatever term is there, I am going to keep it in this rhombus like a structure. Okay. So how to write a formula for this? Simpson's one third rule. I will be equal to hk by 9 into bracket. I will write it as in a simple terms or let me write without having uh, this. I will write it as sum of elements within box. Means whatever these corner elements are there. 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3333. This will be a sum. Plus. 4 into sum of elements, sum of elements indicated, indicated by arrow, indicated by arrow 
प्लस सिक्सटीन इंटू ब्रैकेट मिडिल टर्म प्रेजेंट इन द टेबल इट इज वॉट मिडिल टर्म प्रेजेंट इन अ टेबल नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ लाइक दिस now this is the simplest way to remember the formula otherwise i can write it like this also how i can write it if you see sum of the elements within blocks box is nothing but what f of x0 y0 plus f of x2 y0 plus f of x0 y2 and f of x2 y2 so let me write like this also in some books it is given like this f of x0 y0 term plus f of x2 y0 term plus f of x0 y2 term plus f of x2 y2 term plus what is the next formula 4 into sum of the terms which are indicated by arrow means which will be this f of x1 y0 f of x0 y1 f of x2 y1 and f of x1 y2 so let me write it as 4 into f of x1 comma y0 plus f of x0 comma y1 plus f of x2 comma y1 plus f of x1 comma y2 and plus 16 into remaining term which is present exactly at the middle of the table This is a for x1 comma y1. So let me substitute all the values. What is your h? H is 0.5. What is your k? It is 0.5 divided by 9 into bracket sum of the terms which are indicated uh, by the box or which are placed in the box. So I will write it as 1 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.3333 plus 4 into terms sum of the terms which are indicated by arrow so it will be 0.6666 plus point okay if you see uh, what it will be yes 0.6666 it is correct 0.666 plus 0.4 plus 0.4 Plus 16 into bracket middle term exactly a middle term which is present in the table. So if you calculate, you will get answer for integration 0 to 1, integration 0 to 1, 1 upon 1 plus x plus y dx dy will be equal to 0.524058. You do it with the help of calculator. term by term calculations you do you will get this answer so this is what is a topic or we can say this is what is a numerical how to solve a numerical of simpson's one third rule thank you for watching this video